Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone. I'm so pleased that you are here in my home today. I wanted to share with you some of the fun things that I added into my decor. I did use this stuff for Christmas, but I'm going to show you how I easily transition it into more of a winter theme. These snowy scenes in a jar are perfect for Christmas or for winter, and I'm going to show you how I created these. I went and found some sticks in my yard so this project was nearly free I did have to buy a couple things that I'll share with you in a little while but I just got several sticks and I broke them apart and kind of just glued together a manger scene and um, to me a manger scene is kind of like a barn so that's my husband he's helping me break some of the harder pieces but um, I didn't have a plan for this. I just started gluing it. This would be such a fun project to do with kids. If you have um, children that need something to keep them busy during Christmas break. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to transition this manger into a barn or maybe even a little log cabin when I get ready to switch over into more of a winter look but um, for now it is currently I think it's December 21st so we haven't had Christmas quite yet so I'm not ready to get rid of the uh, manger scenes but I found some yellow foam and I'm just cutting out a drawing that I made of a star I'm gonna do two of these um, exactly the same and then I'm going to glue some fishing line right in between, kind of like a sandwich. So you're going to see how I do this in just a little bit. I'm using my hot glue gun to go around the outside edges first and just sprinkle the glitter right on and you know I don't know if you've ever tried hot glue with glitter but it's such a fast way to get the effect that you want so after that I have some of these jars that you can buy these at Walmart I'm just filling them with salt um, salt is great for making fake snow you don't have to spend a whole lot of money um, buy them flocking or something like that. Just get you some salt and then add in some glitter. I put quite a bit of glitter and as you can see, it's a very pretty effect. I did glue that star right to the lid and so it is suspended right above the manger scene. And these figurines are from the My Little Christmas line at Hobby Lobby. I bought them for 50% off, but if you go now, you can probably get them for 80% off um, during the after Christmas clearance for next year. But um, I am very, very happy with how this looks. I went with multiple colors of blue for my kitchen and dining area. So I've got the dark blue, the light blue, and more of like a mint green greenish blue color and I blended those all together with some greenery and for Christmas I love how this turned out but I think it's going to look really nice for winter as well. After Christmas I am planning on transitioning my little snowy scene jars. Um, I'm going to maybe get some of these miniature deer. I found some at Hobby Lobby as well as adorable little snowman figurines that have little light posts and trees. So I will link that for you guys below if you're interested. 
Now, I found a ton of tiny little figurines and items at Hobby Lobby. Go to the dollhouse section of your Hobby Lobby and you will find so many cute small things that would look good in these little snowy jars. Um, I found a sleigh, some tiny little packages, a teddy bear, a mailbox, and so I thought I would set, uh, set up a little um, scene of like a, a sleigh delivering mail to everyone. And of course, I have to share with you, my last little scene is three wise men looking for baby Jesus. They are so close, they're on the oven, so he's just on the kitchen table. They'll be finding him very shortly. Okay, for those of us that are not super gifted in baking, such as myself, I have a fun idea for you. Just get some Oreos, some chocolate chips, and these little skewers. It is so easy to do, and this, again, would be so fun to do with kids during um, Christmas break. I just put my skewer right in between the two cookies into the icing and broke my skewer off where I wanted it to be. All you have to do is melt your chocolate chips in the microwave until it's a pretty, um, you know, soft consistency. I dip my cookies right into the chocolate and put them on some wax paper. Then you just sprinkle them with any type of sprinkles that you prefer. I did find out pretty quick it's best to wait until you dip your cookies in the chocolate um, before you add your sticks. Um, it's just, it, it, the stick doesn't support the weight of the cookie from the chocolate. But after you get this done, um, pop them in the freezer for about an hour. This is going to help your chocolate set up and then you'll be able to move to the next step. So I'm using what I have on hand to wrap these cookies. I just got some sandwich Ziploc bags. I cut the zipper part off and then you just insert your cookie right into the bag. And you can see I did freeze them with the sticks already inserted. That's really important. So anyway, once I get that done, I already had some tool. So I'm tying that with just a little bit of tool. These are absolutely adorable. We call them cookie pops at my house. My kids love these things. Um, I just added them into my coffee bar and they are just so fun. Um, I think it's just nice to have a little treat, something special that you make with your family um, to enjoy together during the winter time. Winter can be for our family a little bit cold, a little bit dark, and it can be a time where we really need to focus on happy things, enjoying time indoors, and this is just one fun activity that we can do together as a family. Now, if you have not seen these, we do not have lighting in this little hutch. So I got these little puck lights with remote controls at Amazon. They really brighten up this space.
And yes, you can still see our Christmas tree in the background. We haven't had Christmas yet again, but I love keeping my Christmas decorations up for a few weeks after Christmas even. Let me know in the comments, are you a person that likes to take your Christmas decor all down the day after Christmas or do you enjoy it for a few more days after Christmas? Also, I'm curious, if you do leave it up, how long do you tend to leave it up? Let me know in the comments below. I've had this wreath for a very long time. I love to change it out for every season. For the Christmas and winter season, I added these different types of blue ribbons as well as silver bells. I think this looks really great for Christmas and also transitioning into winter. cold winter nights I really don't think there's anything better than getting a cup of hot cocoa or my husband prefers coffee so at least I like the hot cocoa bar but just curling up on the couch watching a great movie and spending time together is just so wonderful for winter time thank you for spending time with us today I hope you have a blessed rest of your day please subscribe I would love to have you back again and I will see you guys in the next one bye